diagnosed with glaucoma and had been on medication for several years. However, due to a faulty machine used in checking the pressure of his eyes, a deterioration of his vision was not noticed until it was almost too late. He was therefore scheduled for an urgent surgery. However, shortly before the surgery, he participated in the Holy Communion in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. To the glory of God, on the review of his eyes in the, Uni in the United Kingdom, it was revealed that most of his vision had been restored. And uh, surgery was no longer necessary. Hallelujah. The same testifier says that she was diagnosed with having a cyst in her pancreas. She visited the open heavens, and that is where our father and our mother in the Lord, Pastor and Mrs. Adeboe, lived for a very long time in the past. In the open heavens building, she prayed for total disappearance, and God answered her. She repeated the test, and there was no cyst found anymore. Let somebody shout a big hallelujah. The second testimony is by Sister Ungozi Ake from Nigeria. She was diagnosed with high blood pressure and was placed on an early hypertensive medication. During the 2022 convention, tagged Perfect Jubilee, our Father and the Lord gave a word of knowledge. He said, there's somebody here. You know that medicine is not the answer to your problem. God said, I will give you the answer. She claimed it. God answered. To the glory of God today, she is no longer on antihypertensive medication. Praise the Lord. We also have Brother Ibukun Olofin Tuade from USA. He joined the 2022 Youth Holy Ghost Convention service. He listened to and connected to the testimonies from a brother who had many job op opportunities and a sister who passed her exams after so many failures. This brother had been waiting to be called for a job offer from the bank that had interviewed him. He got the offer, but the role was put on hold. After listening to the testimony in camp, he claimed and also believed the Lord and the Lord turned things around. He was called for another job in a different organization with a greater compensation. Let's shout hallelujah. <laughs> Sister Idowu Adetokumbo from Canada sent it this testimony. She says, in December 2021, she was told she had an ectopic pregnancy. The baby was in the tube. She was given a 50-50 chance to either remove the tube or be given injections. At the Holy Ghost service in March, a word of prophecy came from our daddy in the Lord, Daddy Gio, that the cloth you are wearing is now powerful. She cut her cloth tied it on her stomach, and declared that she would deliver her baby. To the glory of God, she delivered the baby in November. We also have Brother Mike Okemi from Nigeria. Earlier in the year, it was discovered that he had iron deficiency anemia. His PCV kept dropping. He was placed on hospital admission four times. He was constantly transfused with, with blood. He collapsed at one stage 
and lost consciousness. He was advised to go for a biopsy or bone marrow aspiration. He joined the September Holy Ghost service. Daddy Geo prophesied that all negative doctor's reports have been canceled. Also at the October Holy Ghost service, he claimed the following pro prophecies that came out. There'll be a new beginning. There's someone here whose blood is diseased. I will flush it and replace it. The devastating thing that is supposed to happen in your family has been canceled. Today, this brother is completely healed. His blood level and PCV is normal. No more blood transfusion. Let's join him to praise the Lord. Amen. Still declaring the wonders of our great God, Brother Kainde Tohib Okundokun from Nigeria sent in a testimony. He says, a fraud was committed in his office. He was implicated, his salary was reduced. He wasn't a believer at that time, but he prayed and fasted, and God opened his eyes. He saw Daddy Gio praying for him, asking him to believe in God and have faith. Daddy also told him that God, who made a way for the Israelites, will do the same for him. He gave his life to Christ, and God intervened. He was set apart, he was no longer implicated, and his job was not terminated. What an awesome God. Let's shout a bigger hallelujah still. Amen. The seventh testimony sent in is from Sister Doris Omoze from Nigeria. And she says, during the 2021 Holy Ghost Congress tagged, the siege is over. Daddy Gio gave a word of knowledge on someone who, has, who had tried to do a particular project three times and had failed. Daddy said the person should go ahead and carry out the project and there will be no more failure. Sister Doris claimed this word of prophecy. She had been trying to build her house since the year 2007, and she kept on failing. She failed three times. However, after the word our father released, God showed up. The house was completed in October 2022. She has moved into her own house now. If you are happy with her, then shout a big hallelujah. You shall build your own house. We shall build our own houses too in the name of Jesus. We have the live testifiers here. They will tell us their names and briefly share their testimony. Praise the Lord. Shout a bigger hallelujah. I want to appreciate the Almighty God for a great privilege given to me to share my testimony in the great altar of the Lord here. Uh, my name is Sunday Daniel from Ekiti Province I want to appreciate the Almighty God for escaping me from a dangerous accident on my way coming to the camp for the double portion of anointing. For the double portion. I want to give him all the glory. May his name alone be glorified in Jesus' name. And again, I want to appreciate the Almighty God. Last convention for the perfect jubilee that our daddy in the law, Pastor Enoch Adejari Adeboye, said we should put our handkerchief up and uh, that he's going to pray on it for us, that he's going to perform great miracle. And I put the two handkerchief. I bought a two handkerchief. And I put it up. And I say, God, I want this handkerchief to perform a great miracle. That I will come to this exalted altar to testify about it. 
and God do that miraculous that I use the handkerchief to heal my mother that will be passing through a heart breathing. When he's breathing, he will be sweating. We take him to several hospitals. There's nothing they can be able to discover about it. But God heal him perfectly. Shout a bigger hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, first of all, I want to thank God for salvation of my soul. I want to thank God for returning all glory to God Almighty. I want to thank God for leading Christian Church of God. I want to also thank God for the family that God used to bring me to Redemption Cup. Mr. and Mrs. Ojuku. I married since 2000. And 12. After my marriage, there was no issue. My husband lost her job, lo lost his job, sorry. So since then, we've been battling. No child, no job. We couldn't even pay rent. When I went to a clinic to see the doctor, the doctor diagnosed me and said that my womb is totally dead. Madam, there is nothing we can do. There is nothing we can do about this. I cried and cried. I came back. I told my madam, the one that took me to this place. She said, don't worry, Tina. There is a God that can give you a new womb. I believe her. Since 2016, she brought me here. 2017, she brought me. 2018, glory ahead, I was here. I came in here, I cried. Some people were sleeping. That was in the afternoon. Some people were. I cried. When I cried, I woke up people because I don't need to look at anybody's face. I cried. When I cried, people joined me. I woke up. Some, they started praying. So when, the, when our daddy in the law, Daddy Gio came up, Daddy Gio spoke. He said, there's a woman here. The doctor said your womb is dead. When I mean dead, this is how Daddy Gio put it. When I mean dead, it's totally dead. And that is how the doctor described me. I rose up that day. I shouted. I cried. Wow. That woman that brought me, Mrs. Singozi Ojuku, she heard me. She said, you can see, I told you, your case has your case. Hallelujah. I now went back. We, we closed that convention that year, Glory Ahead, 2018. I went back home rejoicing. She said, just be thanking God. Don't think about it again. Be thanking God. So when I now got home, 2019, I conceived. Hallelujah. Praise so, the Lord. The same 2019, my husband got a job in Singapore. Hallelujah. A woman who the doctor said her womb is totally dead. Hallelujah. Madam, nothing they can do about your, your case. I'm here to the glory of God with my bouncing baby boy. The same year, we that cannot pay rent. My husband bought a land. I dedicated this boy on Sunday. I packed to my house on Monday. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to give all the glory to the almighty God. First of all, I want to give thanks for the salvation of my soul. I'm coming from Bayasta Province 5. My name is Missionary Assistant Pastor Dagogo Favor. 2019 Holy Ghost Congress like this, I came here, went back for 31st crossover night. I went around to invite people for the first time that a child come into the house of God, died in the church instantly. And I said, ah, God, what can I do? And when we came here that December, that the Jews said we should bring out all our handkerchief. I wasn't with handkerchief. I raised my anointing oil. And I poured the anointing oil on the shite. And I asked God, God, 
what is the foundation of this death? And God said, the sins of the parents. And the Holy Spirit helped me to pray in all trance. And within 30 minutes, the boy come back to life. Shout, praise thy Lord. Secondly, I want to also thank God. This year, I pray, I was, I, I was posted to Satan Nijor, Bayasta State. When I get there, the community, they were doing secondary school, but they don't have their building. When the primary school finished, the secondary school will not start. I say, ah, this is the ancient of days. What is the cause? They said in the process of innovating the building, the building, the project stopped. This is over four years. And I decree that before the year will end, the government will visit the community. Within a year, the project will commence and the secondary school began to start their own schools in the normal time. Thirdly, this one is the flood that came this year in Bayasa State. The whole community was flooded. And the last Sunday that I went there after the youth convention, and the assistant pastor cried to me, he said, Pastor, in this community, when flood will start, people died. After the flood, children died. And I make a declaration in the open heaven that the Jews said that prophecy is a promise, but declaration is an instant miracle. And I decree by that word, after the flood, there was no child that died. Child, pray the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe there are two more testifiers. Please, let's go straight to our testimony. Praise the Lord. Let the living soul shout hallelujah. My name is A.P. Mrs. Olowoyeye. I lost my husband 2005. I don't know that there is reason for me that God brought me to redeem. When my daughter, my first daughter was 18 years, he was mentally disordered. I was taking her to one place to another. And one of my pastors, Pastor Gabriel Ojo, he came to our father in the law to collect anointing for her. And I started applying this anointing. And I came to the altar of God, and I pray a prayer that God, if you can heal this girl, and you make her to gain admission to higher institution, and you gave her a husband that I don't suffer on her head, I will come and thank you. And God did it. <laughs> Secondly, my second son was exactly 18 years when he went to play football and he has an injury. I was taking him from one hospital to another for one uh, physiotherapy. But one day I took her to, to a Navy hospital and the doctor said the hips have damaged, that they are going to import another hips from abroad, that I should go and budget for two million just to deposit. I started crying that God, where am I going to get this money? I brought the the uh, entry to the altar of God. I said, God, if you can heal this boy, and the boy can walk with his leg without, without pain, I will come back to this altar and I give testimony. And God did it for me. And this boy, he has gained admission to higher institution, and today he's using the leg from one mile to another to proclaim the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yes, sir. My name is uh, Pastor Mrs. Jane Nelson. And I was posted. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. And I'm bringing this testimony to the glory of God and to the God whose name is the great physician in the balm of Gilead. Today I'm standing here to give this testimony because God has kept me alive. I have a swelling right left leg that developed a boil at the ankle. 
By the time I busted it, he became an elephant boil, which I was diagnosed to be an elephant boil. I've brought it to the presence of God for a proper healing. May the name of the Almighty God be glorified even now and forevermore. Amen. And I brought that glory to Pastor Mrs. Adeboye and our mother in Israel and our father, Daddy Jew. May the name of your father be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. This our God. No word can describe him. Nothing is 